this, this studio, it's 30,000 square feet. It's the 78th floor of Three World Trade Center. It's a space that is in a continuation of many extraordinary spaces that have been very kindly made available to me by Dara McQuillan at Silverstein Properties. It's been very much at the core of all the work I've been doing through the years at the World Trade Center. These spaces have sort of called into being the large format paintings that I've been doing. I think I wouldn't have necessarily had the idea of doing large format paintings had it not been for having had the first studio I had in Tower 7. There are many aspects of this floor that make it an extraordinary place to work in. Obviously the view, I mean the view is absolutely indescribably beautiful. I think there's a great sense of peace up here. There's a sense of quiet and slight transcendence of the noise and bustle and sort of high octane energy of the city. So it's a really fantastic place to paint and also to share the work and share the space with other people. I grew up in a, a family in Ireland that uh, was a building business. My father designed ships originally, and so when I was a kid, you know, I'd often spend time on construction sites, and particularly my dad used to take me around the shipyard, a lot of the shipyard in Belfast where he used to work. I think then when I lived in Paris, somehow I'd never, you know, I'd started off working in some in fashion and portraits and things like that, and it was just somehow naturally I gravitated towards photographing buildings and construction sites. Towards the, the end of my time in Paris, which was 1998, I'd started creating slideshows that were cut together to music and I knew that what I really wanted to do was to make films that would tell stories using time-lapse film and music. So I made this film about the London Eye and then 9-11 happened and for whatever reason I just felt there was an opportunity to make a film that would allow the rebuilding of the site to be a metaphor for the idea of creation and people working together and particularly in New York all people from different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different traditions working together with a common goal. I hope that the films give people something more of a heart opening experience that the joy of the music and the combination of the music and the visuals allow people to go on some sort of unexpected journey like some type of trip really most inspiring about the work it's being able being able to be very close up to what the what the men and women on site are doing to really feel that I can share with the audience what it feels like to be as close as possible to their hands and see the tactile nature of what they're building and the materials and the the language and the the passion and the energy that is exchanged between the, the construction workers as they're building. I film every day on the site and do as much as I can to capture the spirit of the many different trades and the characters, the different characters of the people, as well as the overall view, like from different parts of the city, getting skyline views of how the building is appearing in the skyline. Very often the films get shown at special events to celebrate, like a topping out ceremony or the inauguration or opening of a building or particularly with the World Trade Center film, very often it's been shown on the day of the 11th of September. And I think to create films that bring people together and celebrate oneness and celebrate the sense of community, I think that's something that to me is very important. In a way, since I was a child, I'd always wanted to be, I mean, I still do and have been a painter. I want to focus a lot more on the paintings over the next 10, 20 years. This is a crucial time going between the world of making films into the world of exploring the language of paint and painting, which I absolutely love. I think the organic nature of paint, the, the tactile, fluid, 
plasticity and energy of paint is something that really fascinates me. I very often have thought, particularly making the film about the World Trade Center, that the work would bear witness to what the men and women doing the rebuilding, what they did at this particular time in history on planet Earth, and that in however many years, 100 years, 200 years, depending on whether or not planet Earth is still here, but that hopefully in, in years to come that would bear witness to the extraordinary process of what was created here. I do like the idea of creating something that will bring joy to people and fascinate people long after I'm dead and gone. <laughs>